This is Hector Garcia, and I want to show you one of my favorite features about QuickBooks Online, which is the QuickBooks Online app for your mobile device. Now, I actually happen to have an iPhone. I don't have an Android, so I'm going to be using the iPhone app to demonstrate kind of how this works. But there's also an app for Android, which is in principle about the same, but there may be some slight differences. So I'll make a disclaimer about that. And so this is the uh, a phone version that goes on the on the iPhone itself. All right. So what you see on the left side of the screen, this is my QuickBooks Online uh, uh, file that I access through my computer just with my regular browser. And then when you see on the right hand side of the screen, this is my uh, my my app, and these are connected to the same company file. So you kind of want to you want to notice how they interact with each other. So I'm going to start by on my phone. I'm going to create an invoice. So I kind of want you to notice on the left side of the screen where my open invoices are. Notice I have 375 overdue and 177 not due yet. These are my open invoices. So I'm going to go with my phone and I'm going to create an invoice. So I'm going to go to the invoice, select a customer. I'll select any item here at random, put a price. I'll put here 500 bucks, click on add and click on save. So done. I created an invoice with uh, my phone. Now from my phone, I can do a couple of things. You know, I can click on send invoice where I would select my customer's email. So I want to put Hector at GarciaCPA.com. And that's it. Just type in the customer's email. I can change the text of how, what that's going to look like. I got a quick preview here uh, of what my invoice is going to look like. So I'm basically zooming in and out on the phone and I can kind of see uh, how the invoice looks like over here. And I'm going to click on send. Hit yes. And that's it. So I use my phone to create an invoice and to send an invoice uh, to my customer all from my phone. Now on the left side of the screen, I want you to now look at my uh, computer here. I want you to look at QuickBooks. So the invoices are not updated yet, but if I simply just uh, click refresh or, or click on a different screen and click back here, you're going to notice that immediately I'm going to have uh, no, a new amount of invoice yet. Now I see that 677 is my new uh, open invoice. So it, this is pretty much immediate. Now on my um, back of my phone app here, I'm going to click on the menu button on the left hand side. I'm going to click on customers and then I'm going to click on my customers here and I get to see all of my open invoices, all of my history. If I go back to that, I actually see the invoice there. This invoice has no payment. So I'm going to uh, leave that be. Okay. I'm going to go back to the dashboard here for a second. And uh, I kind of want to show you the dynamic of this whole thing. So let's say for example, now that customer pays me. So uh, in my QuickBooks side, I'm going to go ahead and receive a payment. So I'm going to click on receive payment and I'll select the customer. I'll select my open invoice. Okay. It's a normal way of receiving a payment uh, through QuickBooks. You know, I got a check, check 2233, and then I'll click on save and close. So on the QuickBooks side, on the website side, I went ahead and I received the payment. Now on my phone, I'm going to go ahead and go to the same place, go to customers, and come here and then I want to make, make sure that when I look at that invoice, that invoice looks paid. So this is all pretty much immediate and in real time. So it's actually really, really neat. Uh, and a couple of interesting things about it is I can also attach things from my phone and I'll be able to see them online. So I'll show you, I'm going to click on um, add attachment. So I'm going to add an attachment. I'm going to call it receipt. And I'll click on, I saved the, just a note on the attachment, but let me go ahead and go back to it so I can actually attach a, um, a file. So I click on the little clip, I'll click on take photo. Then I'll, with my phone, I'll take a picture of the receipt or whatever supporting document I'm using. I'll click on use photo, save, and I basically attached a file from my phone into whatever transaction, invoice, receipt, whatever. So that's done from the phone side. So I'm going to come into uh, QuickBooks here. I'm going to go into sales and go into customers and then click on my customer and then maybe find that invoice. There it is. So that's the invoice that I created from my phone that showed up in, in uh, QuickBooks. Uh, and then I, sorry, I created, yeah. And then I 
receive the payment on the QuickBooks and then I saw it on my phone and then I attached something from my phone. When I, saw it, I click down here, we're gonna notice that it says uh, attachments. And if I click on that attachment, that will be the exact same thing that I took with the phone. So that's, those are the real neat things about interactivity between the web version and the phone version that pretty much almost all the information is available at your fingertips. Now, one thing I tell you is from the phone app itself, you're really not gonna be able to do everything. Like you're not gonna be able to reconcile the bank, uh, you're not gonna be able to do custom reports, but there's a lot of functionality here, which is pretty awesome. So for example, I can go to products and services and I have a list of all my items, right? So if I click on uh, new, I can create a new item. Let's call this one a burrito and this would be a $2.99. $2.99 and I click on save. Oh, I have to make sure I, I pick my income account. So I click on save. So I created my item on my phone. Now I can sell it, I can do whatever. If I go into uh, QuickBooks, I'm gonna go into my products and services list from the web version and I'm gonna see it right there. There's my, my product, okay? So it's right there live. You know, I can I can work with it live. So it's actually pretty, pretty good. So I can edit it on let me just hit cancel here. I can call this, I say burrito two, and I'll click on save and close. And then I'm gonna reset on, on, the, on the phone side and we immediately see that this gets updated. So the, it's so amazing how fast the phone and the web version of QuickBooks Online update with each other. So I'm actually extremely impressed by that. So they've done an awesome job at merging the two together. Now kind of, I wanna walk you through the other things that it has just to give you an idea. There's uh, notes and attachments where basically anything that I have attached or, or notes uh, will, will show up in there. There's a uh, payroll. So if you have a payroll enabled, you can actually process your payroll from the phone app. You can create customers or inquire in any of the customers here. If I wanna see any of the invoices, just open it up and it allows me to view uh, whatever invoices are from here. Now, something that's cool about the phone app itself is uh, any invoices we have here, we can click on get signature. And basically we will give this to the customer. Let's say I want a signature for something they bought, right? Or, um, or a commitment, an estimate, whatever, hit done. And then that signature stays on the, on the phone app itself. Now, unfortunately on the QuickBooks uh, side, you don't, you don't really get uh, a signature because you don't get to uh, sign anything on, um, on, uh, on the web version. I am curious to see if the signature comes in as an image. I'm just gonna search here just for the heck of it. Actually, I've never tried that before. So let me uh, look it up real quick. If not, that would be kind of interesting, but honestly, I haven't seen that. So, oh no, this is actually pretty awesome. I'm surprised by it. So the actual customer signature uh, comes in as an image on your QuickBooks Online file. So I'm actually kind of blown away. I've never seen that before. So that's actually awesome. Now, a couple of things just to kind of experiment with this. Um, let me go into banking. So if I have my bank uh, connected, this is something that's really cool. All your, all your bank feeds, I can actually uh, select uh, the categories for transactions. I don't have any uh, pending there, but if I, if I happen to have any, any bank feed transaction there, I can actually classify things. Uh, in my chart of accounts, it doesn't look like I can create accounts but I can, I can see what my accounts are and the balances. Uh, that's definitely interesting. On expenses, I can see any expenses. So if I have a credit card charge or a check, that's all gonna show up in here. So that's pretty cool. Estimates, you know, I can create an estimate from here. So that's awesome. Just like an invoice uh, receive payments. I just, uh, I showed that. I can do a sales receipt, which basically is a combination invoice and payment at the same time. And that's, only useful for when you're you know, selling something and getting paid simultaneously. So I don't have to do invoice and payment as two separate transactions. So that's, that's sales receipt. So that's obvious that's gonna be there. And then I get a basic, really basic reports, so a basic uh, profit and lo loss graph, and then a basic uh, profit and loss report. So there's really not much you can do on the reports. You can just change kind of like the months uh, the quarter last year, and you can select the custom date range, but uh, that's really about it. So on reports, you get a basic PNL, a basic balance sheet. To be honest, 
what else can you ask for from a, from a phone app? That's actually pretty awesome by itself. So that's it in a nutshell. I mean, I got a, I, I, I do a couple of basic things on my phone. Usually I just, just invoice really and receive a payment. That's really to the extent of what I use it for. And, uh, and I'm starting to use uh, some of the image capture, right? So I, I was surprised by the signature capture. So I, th I thought that was pretty neat. So, I mean, that's just pretty much uh, the phone app in a nutshell. So hope you like the video and maybe I'll make a more in-depth step-by-step uh, video on the phone app itself. But uh, once I get sort of deeper into it, so hope hopefully at least this gives you a little bit of encouragement about uh, uh, moving to QuickBooks Online uh, or at least encourages you to go into the App Store. And uh, actually, let me just show you real quick. I'm going to go to App Store and see how it's pretty easy to find it. So I'm going to type here QuickBooks should be pretty straightforward. So I'll search uh, QuickBooks on the App Store and it should be the one that I have here right here, QuickBooks Accounting. So it's this one right here called QuickBooks Accounting and I already have it uh, installed. So that's the one you, um, you're you gonna download on your phone and you're gonna have to have an active QuickBooks Online account, of course. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. You have a wonderful day.